Hey, what's up guys? David from Dignited here. Today, I'm going to be showing you how we can install full desktop Linux applications on your Chromebook. Now, in the previous videos, I showed you how you can install Linux environment environment on your Chromebook. Now, in this video, we are going to be installing Linux applications on the Linux container installed on your Chromebook. We're going to be using four ways. The first one, we're going to be using Chrome OS's built-in GUI wizard. Then we shall be using apt, which is a Debian based tool for installing and removing packages. And then after that, we shall be using snaps and flatpaks. Snaps and flatpaks are new package formats for distributing and installing Linux applications across different Linux distros such as Debian, Ubuntu, Fedora, CentOS, Red Hat, and so forth. All right, so without further ado, let's jump right into it. All right, so let's start off with the method where we download a Debian file from a software vendor's website and then install it on our Chromebook using uh, the built-in GUI wizard. Okay, so let's go to um chrome here and then let's 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 download opera right opera browser probably yeah could be an awesome addition to chrome that we have okay so come to downloads here and then click on opera for chromebook all right uh just slide down here where you say opera browser for linux so you have two other packages. You have RPM and Snap. RPM is used for Red Hat based operating systems such as Fedora, CentOS, and uh, Red Hat. And then you have Snap here. Snap is a package format used to download apps across different operating systems and it's maintained by Canonical, the company behind Ubuntu. So we're just going to download here when it downloads we are downloading a debian file okay so let's do that you see the download immediately it starts here it's about 80 mbs okay so i'm just going to speed this up all right our download is complete uh, click on show in folder it opens in the files app now what you can do is you can right click on that file and say install with linux or you can just double click on it it will open up a GUI wizard, sort of something that uh, people are familiar with on Windows. And yeah, after that, just click on install here. Just wait for it to load up some information and then click on install. Okay, so we have uh, Opera 85 version. Just click on install. The installation process uh, kicks off immediately. All right. All right, now you can immediately launch Opera right here. Just tap on launch and the browser, the application that we just installed opens or you can also access it from the launcher. You can see Opera is right here and we can also just put it on the uh, shelf for easy access. So pin to shelf, okay. <music> Right, the next method we're going to use to install Linux applications on our Linux container on our Chromebook is using the apt tool. The apt tool or advanced package tool is a collection of tools used to install, update, remove or otherwise manage software packages on Debian based operating systems. As you guys know, we are running on a Debian based Linux container and we can just uh, confirm that. Okay sudo cut etc um, release here and you can see here that this is debian gnu linux 11 balls i awesome and it has apt this is the tool that i'm talking about and it says apt is a command line package manager provides commands for searching and managing as well as querying information about packages awesome so for this case, uh, we're going to install VLC, which is a popular media player that you can, you know, use to play music around. So let's go to Video Learn, Video Learn, right? 
and just download VLC. So just click on the penguin icon, which is for Linux. And you can see we have a number of Linux based operating systems. Click on Debian here, which is the first choice. And yeah, now select this command, copy and paste this command and run it on a Linux container like so. So now it is installing VLC. All right, now VLC is already installed and we can access VLC by simply going to the app launcher and either search for VLC, but it's just right here. I'm just going to click on it. And VLC is right here. All right, so I'm just going to test it out. I'm just going to come and search for any music file and just play. So this is Doris Day, right click on it, come here, open with, and then select open with VLC player. All right, sounds good. Yeah, so that is how you can install a VLC using apt. You can remove or uninstall by simply running sudo apt patch VLC. It's going to say you really want to uninstall VLC. Click yes and yeah, but I've just aborted the process because I want to keep VLC installed. Cool. All right, now we have Opera and VLC installed. Now I want to show you how you can install applications using Flatpaks. All right, so what are Flatpaks? Well, let's just uh, check it out here. Flatpak.org, just see what they say. The future of apps on Linux. Flatpak is the next generation technology for building and distributing desktop applications on Linux. So with Flatpaks, you can install applications across the different distributions that are supported on Linux, such as Ubuntu, Fedora, Manjaro, and Chrome OS. All right, so when we click on the complete list, you can see all the operating systems or Linux distributions that are supported by Flatpak. Okay. So we are interested on in Chrome OS. So just click on the Chrome icon right here. And this is going to show us how we can install Flatpaks on Chrome OS. Now, the first thing here that's saying is enable Linux support, which already have, because we installed the Linux development environment in the previous videos. So that is done. Okay, now, uh, this come here to the second step and install Flatpak by running this command. So I'm just going to copy paste it, paste it right here. Okay, just say yes. And then while that is installing, we're going to have to add the Flat Hub repository. Now these Flatpak apps are distributed through the Flathub repository and you can just browse through Flatpak apps through the Flathub app store, which is here, uh, when you go to flathub.org. So this is flathub.org, this is flathub.org, quite two different websites. So this is the app store, which has most of the popular Linux applications that are distributed through the Flatpak package. Okay, so I think we are going to install GIMP. GIMP is the free open source alternative to Adobe Photoshop. So if you want to have that full desktop photo editing power, then this is your best alternative right here. So just scroll down. It shows us command line instru instructions or instructions that we're going to run to install GIMP. Okay, so let me just check back if our installation is done. All right, it is done. Awesome. All right, so uh, Flatpak is done. Now we're going to install the repository. Just copy and paste. Okay. All right. All right, so it is done. Awesome. 
it says uh, we need to restart our Linus container so just click shut down Linux so right click on the terminal app and just say shut down Linux all right so we're going to shut down and then start okay so there you go now it is starting starting our Linux container all right so our Linux virtual machine has restarted and now we are ready to install Flatpak applications all right as I told you guys uh, come to FlatHub and then browse through any applications that you wish so this is uh, GIMP once again and that's what you're going to install so copy the first command and paste it okay say yes uh, yes again so depending on how fast your internet is this could take maybe three to five minutes all right our installation is complete as you can see the flat packs are really huge this is well wow, over 600 mbs oh that's really huge okay so now we need to run our game flat pack okay using this command uh, flat pack run then the game file okay all right it says can't mount proc or new root proc operation not permitted all right so if you ran into that issue like i did trying to open gimp after installing the flat pack all you have to do is to run this command here in the chrome os developer terminal so how do you open the chrome os developer terminal you have to hit Control alt t on the browser and then you give this command vsh terminal that's what i did when you hit Control alt t it opens up the chrome os developer shell and then you type in this command vsh terminal and then issue this command here uh, uh, that will be able to resolve the issue cool so let, just to demonstrate i'm going to come here and then run that that should now start gimp without any problems now if we want to edit our photos i'm just going to open a photo from uh, files up all right let's go to downloads i have some a few cute cuts i'm going to open right click open with and then select open with gimp it's right here oh we can keep that and here comes our cute cut so we can now go ahead and just start editing the photo annotating adding text this is an awesome cut let me just do that okay let's bump this up to 250 need to select that let's increase the font okay and we can change the color maybe to white make it pop ah great and make it bold oh yeah so now you have full desktop photo editing capabilities through gimp that we have installed through the flat pack awesome now in the next section we're going to install snaps all right the last option i want to show you guys on how you can install linux desktop applications on your chromebook is through snaps now what are snaps let's just check it out here and uh, open snapcraft.io and uh, click on about we we'll get some information about snaps so here it says that snaps are uh, packages for desktop cloud and iot that are easy to install secure cross-platform and dependency free so snaps is an application package that is developed by canonical which is the company that is behind ubuntu so snaps are exactly like flat packs in that they have the same objective of enabling developers create applications once and then distribute them across different distributions like ubuntu linux mint fedora CentOS, and so forth 
Cool. So Snapcraft.io is the app store for Snap applications, and you can just browse through the applications that are available. You have Slack, LibreOffice, Rebel, and a featured. You have development or applications used for software development. I can see Sublime Text here, PyCharm. You have some games if you're into games and then you have some server software right here so you can browse all the applications and just um, check out what you want again you can see the common applications vlc telegram and so forth so uh, for this option i'm just going to show you how we can install sublime text sublime text is an ide or a code text editor that is great for writing code for developing applications and websites cool so when you come to the sublime text page and you click on install you'll be shown a command that you can run to install the applications you know it's sudo snap install sublime text and so forth however we don't have snap install just yet on our linux container and that is something that we're going to do first I've looked through the doc documentation and tutorials, but I haven't uh, seen Chrome always supported here by uh, Ubuntu. However, that doesn't mean you can't install Snap on uh, Chrome OS or on your Linux container. And we're just going to do that. What you're gonna do is uh, you're going to run this command. Let me just uh, get it right here. Yes, run that command in your linux uh, app or terminal okay and then after that we are going to install the snap application all right now with snap installed on our linux container we are now going to install the different snaps for this case we are going to install sublime text and like i showed you come to install and then simply copy that command right there okay that's what we're going to do and just paste oh i'm running into this error cannot perform the following tasks setup snap snap security profiles cannot run new dev triggers and so forth okay we're going to see how to fix this issue all right, I think we need to restart the our Linux container first. I'm just going to do that. Call it again and start our Linux container. Okay, so I'm going to install Sublime Text again. All right, Sublime Text is now installed on our computer and we can just start it by running the Sublime Text command on the terminal. And there you go, Sublime Text is now fully installed on our system as a snap. All right, this wraps it up. That's how you can install Linux applications on your Chromebook. If you have any favorite method, let me know in the comments below. If you had any challenges in installing, let me know in the comments below. I'll be happy to help. And uh, if you liked this video, go ahead and uh, give us a like. Also subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, we'll see you guys in the next one.